Hey guys, Brooklyn here. Welcome back to my channel, Miss Brooklyn's Journey. In this video, I'm going to show you everything I ate for the day and I'm also going to give you a look at my workout routine because I am back in the gym and killing it. Okay, you guys? So I'm not gonna do too much talking. Let's just jump right into the video. All right, guys, so I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. I don't know if you guys saw my last video a couple of weeks back that I was doing my boot camp challenge. Well, my challenge comes to an end in a couple of days and me and my ladies, my sisters have been killing this challenge. When I say we smashed this challenge, we smashed it. My fitness boot camp has been so successful and I'm looking amazing. I'm feeling amazing. Like we have been working out crazy, back in the gym crazy, eating the right foods. My girls have been losing so much weight, so much inches. I'm so damn proud of the women in this challenge. Like, listen, we killing it. For anyone that missed out on my boot camp challenge, unfortunately, I'm not doing another one. I repeat, I am not doing another one. But if you missed out and you want the actual program, you want the, the full 30-day recipes, you want the full uh, macros and everything like that, I'm going to leave all the information down below in the description box. This is solely for the people that did not join any of my boot camps. You get to um, purchase the full entire um, regimen for the next uh, 30 days. I will leave my information down below in the description box for you guys so that you can email me about purchasing the actual plan and the actual recipes, your personalized macros and everything like that. I got you. Everybody's been loving the food. Everybody's been loving the program. So yeah, if you missed out on my boot camp and you want to purchase the recipes, you want to purchase the meal plan, the macros, let me know. All the information is down below in the description box. Your girl got you. So like I mentioned, I am back in the gym. You guys, New York City gyms finally opened up. It actually opened up right on time when my boot camp started. And when I tell you, I have been kicking ass in the gym. So I'm going to talk to you guys about what I do. I do... 30 minutes of warming up on the elliptical. It's a mandatory must for me. I slowly increase the, the, the strength. Then I do 30 minutes on the treadmill. Once again, I start slow and slowly increase. I get to about a 3.3 incline and about a 3.3 speed. I do 30 minutes on both the incline and the treadmill. Then I do a hit cardio workout, which I didn't uh, film for you guys because I don't have anybody filming my workouts. Then I move on to strength training. So I'm just showing you, I do those two roll machines, the back roll machines that I'm showing you there, um, those two. Then I do um, leg press workouts for the glutes. Then I work on my hit reductions. Like I do a full physical workout. I'm in the gym for approximately two hours. As you can see, I burned over 1,300 calories, okay? Two hours in the gym, over 1,300 calories. Your girl gets it in. I do not play with my workouts. I love, love, love being back in the gym. So now I'm back home and I'm going to refuel. So I'm just going to make a simple food, um, a simple refuel meal. I'm going to pop some sausage into my air fryer and then I'm going to boil some eggs. I always add a little bit of vinegar in the water prior to boiling it because it helps break down the uh, shell of the egg and you can easily peel that bad boy out. So I'm going to um, make some um, zero carb bread. I get this bread from Aldi's. It is not my personal favorite. I don't really like this bread. It tastes like cardboard, but I figured out a way to make the bread taste good and actually I'm able to tolerate it. So first of all, y'all know I'm on keto, so fats is very important. I'm going in with some um, salted butter and I'm gonna put one tablespoon for each side. Not, not one tablespoon each, but like one tablespoon for the entire bread, <laughs> okay? So I use about two tablespoons um, all together. Then I'm going to add a pinch of sea salt to, to the butter because I'm going to put it in a pan and grill it. I have found this is the only way I can actually tolerate this dry ass, cardboard ass bread. Let me tell you, everybody that was talking about this bread is good. You're lying. Okay. You're lying. All right. And my stupid self bought like three packs of it thinking it was going to really be good and it's nasty, but Listen, I spent the money, right? <laughs> we got to eat it. So this is how I find this is the best way. You have to literally infuse butter and salt into it so it can taste like something. Doing it this way, for anybody that thinks this bread is nasty, you're going to thank me later because, baby, it tastes so much better. Like, so much better. But I will not be buying that bread again. i rather spend the money and purchase Sola bread from, um, bread from Sola Company because their ketogenic-friendly bread tastes so much better. Like so much better so my eggs are ready my sausage is ready 
and my cardboard, I mean, my bread is ready. <laughs> I'm just going to top it off with a little bit of butter, salt, pepper, a little, little taste seasoning, and I'm good. Of course, I have a fat bomb bullet coffee right here. You guys, it's imperative that I refuel after all of them ca um, calories I just burned in the gym. So this is what I'm going to refuel with. Um, this is my first meal. You guys know I only eat two meals a day anyway because I do intermittent fasting. And yes, I work out on an empty stomach. I do not put anything in my stomach to work out with. Like, I work out empty. Now moving on to making my dessert for the day. I wanted to um, experiment with making a chocolate pound, buttery pound cake with a white chocolate cream cheese ganache type thing. So I took the base of Chef Risha's lemon butter pound cake recipe and from that created a chocolate version and my own white chocolate ganache um, topping. So I feel like I underestimated how hard it would be to get the, the right sweetness in. So the texture is absolutely there. Like the texture was amazing. It was soft. It was buttery. Perfection. However, the sugar amounts was not there. I hit the mark a little bit. Now my family found that it tastes extremely good. Extremely, extremely good. To me personally, it is not up to my standards. However, I'm going to remake this again and it is going to be a part of my holiday uh, playlist that's coming out for you guys. I am currently working on a full low carb, ketogenic holiday menu, an entire menu for you guys. I'm talking baked mac and cheese. I'm talking ziti. I'm talking sides. I'm talking like the whole meal, like cheesecake, all of that. Now the ladies in my boot camp can back me up when they say like my recipes have been on freaking points. I think this actual challenge in boot camp. Uh, the recipes were the best I've ever done like the best I have been in the kitchen a lot lately That's why you guys don't see me a lot. I don't post a lot and yeah, like man, but anyway enough of that um, I'm currently breaking the eggs and whipping it up. This recipe calls for a lot of uh, Whipping <laughs> like you're gonna need that hand uh, held mixer um, So at this point, I'm just making the wet ingredients to put it into the dry ingredients. Like I mentioned, this allowed it to be, allow it to be very buttery and moist, which you will see at the end of this, how moist this is. So um, clearly you guys saw me use a butter and cream cheese base, um, making it like really thick and creamy. It's going into our almond flour. Um, also, for those of you that are allergic to almond flour, I have been doing a lot of research and reading about oat fiber flour. And there is a new flower that is also ketogenic approved. It's called lupini, lup, lumpanini flower from the from the bean that's also ketogenic friendly. You guys might want to try that out if you're allergic to like nut flour. So look into that. I don't know the ratios because I have not played with it or tested it. But I don't know, guys. Get in the kitchen. I'm pretty sure eventually I will play with those flowers and probably cook up a bunch of recipes for it for if I do plan on doing another boot camp but anything like that like recipes like that and things like that um will go into like courses like my boot camp courses anyway this is my chocolate pound cake it's going in the oven and um i'll show you guys later on what it looks like but right now i'm going to finish off my final meal I only have an eight hour eating window, you guys, and my foods keep me relatively full. The co the bullet coffee alone will keep you full. So I'm gonna go in with some burgers. Hands down to me, it's like, this is like the best burger I've ever had. So you see, I went in with some liquid smoke, some Worcestershire sauce. I'm going with, in with a little bit of onion salt um, on this, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of Louisiana Cajun seasoning, a little bit of black pepper. You know, you're going all in with all the shebang, all the goody goodies, and putting it on it. Um, I got this. Uh, this is an Angus burger that I picked up from um, Trader Joe's. They have Angus burgers, and this is this is it. So I like to put these seasonings on a burger because one day I was just experimenting, and I tried this e exact blend like on my burger, and it was so 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 good. Normally, I would also put bacon on my burger, but I did not have any bacon in the house, so we just gonna have to go without it. But it was really good, and so I just heavily um, season the top and then distribute it throughout. You know, you see what I'm doing there, just making sure it's evenly distributed on top and bottom. I find that the meat sucks up the flavor a lot, but that Worcestershire and the liquid smoke makes 
all the difference in the world, honey. Don't skip that step, baby. It just makes all the difference in the world. I'm going to pop this into my air fryer. And yes, you can put aluminum in your air fryer. It's just an electric cooker. You can put aluminum. <laughs> and so I'm going to put it on um, 400 uh, degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Or you can do 380, whichever is comfortable for you. I like my burger well done, but like slightly under like just slightly i don't know i just like it juicy and good all right i can't explain it so you guys know how you do like a burger wrap and it's done in third i literally hate and despise burger wrap so i do a deconstructed version so i'm gonna just take my romaine and i'm gonna put my mayonnaise on my romaine like so it looks messy because the lettuce was kind of wet a little bit i did add a slice of gouda cheese on each burger so boom if you guys have not tried gouda you need to like gouda cheese is so good i personally like to mix gouda with gruyere but they didn't have gruyere but i added um no sugar added ketchup they sell sugar-free ketchup in the stores guys you can pick it up i'm adding some raw onions to it just a couple of slivers of raw onions on my burger and then here's the piece de resistance this chili onion crunch from treater joe's pick this up we put this on everything in my house okay everything gets this pick this up i promise you you will not regret it i try not to put the oil on it like i use it with a fork and let all the oil stay at the bottom and just only pick up the crunch girl it's garlic it's onion it's chili pepper flakes oh my gosh when, when i say this thing is so good it's so good it's not spicy at all but then again my spice meter is broken um i'm caribbean eat a lot of spicy ass food so like, things are not really spicy to me. I'm, I, like, I don't know. Like, for me, I, my in order for me to say something spicy, my, my mouth has to hurt and my eyes have to water. So, yeah, that's not, to me, that's not really spicy at all. Like, it literally is just a texture thing at all. But when I tell you it's so good, I love this burger. I can eat this burger every day, every single day. Like, listen, with the bacon on it too, and this one didn't even have the bacon. It was so good. You're going to see in a minute. Like, I'm going to take my first bite and really start dancing. Like, it's so good. Like, I really want another one now. Like, I really want another one. Oh, my gosh. See? Like, look, look at the hand. Look at the hand. Look at the hand. Oh, oh, good, oh, good, oh, good. I forgot to give you guys a close-up, but this is the burger. It's so good. And it is juicy and moist and tender. But see that? Ooh, so good. Anyway, guys, I'm going to show you my white chocolate cream cheese ganache that I made for my pound cake that I made. So that's the Lily's white chocolate. Everybody's been raving about it. Um, if you have any questions, if the Lily's white chocolate is going to knock you out of ketosis, absolutely not. Because you are not eating uh, the amount that it would take to knock you out of ketosis and down because it has milk in it. So no, it's actually safe to eat in keto. As long as, so long as you deep in keto, number one, number two, you stick to the right portions. Now, as you can see, I only used half the bar for a 10 serving item. Like literally, it's definitely not going to do anything. Um, what I did was melt it in the microwave with heavy whipping cream so it could um, melt down nicely. I added my cream cheese, my butter, my swerve confection of sugar. I whipped that up. Then I added the white chocolate to the mixture and made this baby right here. Oh, and let me just say I'm working on a white chocolate cheesecake recipe for you guys for the holidays. Yeah. Like, I have mastered keto cheesecake. Like, my keto cheesecake is fire. Anyway, this is what it looks like right there. Doesn't it look good? And I mean, it's not the prettiest because it was a test run. But now that I know what I need to do for me, again, like like the sugar content for me, like the right amount of sweetness. I'm just missing probably like two two more tablespoons of sugar and everything is going to be good. But I'm going to refill this and redo this for the holiday edition. But look, look how moist this is. Like, look at this. It made, um, it made a little bit more than 10 servings. I believe it was 13 servings. But look, 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 look how moist. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. Like, come on. Stop it. Keto what? Keto what? Nah. But, all right, guys. That was everything I ate for the day. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's inspired you to keep on going on your journey and your health fitness to get your life in order. All right? Don't forget, down below in the description box, for anybody that want to purchase my uh, actual boot camp program that did not join, you can purchase it. It's down below. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.